Coach, was this as complete a game as you've seen in a long time from your hockey team? Uh, we've had some other ones. I mean, we said that, uh, what, a week and a half ago uh, or something like that, and we played, uh, you know, whether it was the Rangers, uh, we even played Pittsburgh, we had some, so. But this was a good one because it was on the road. Yeah. That's that's why it was, uh, it, it, it looked a lot like what we do at home. And, uh, you know, a lot of it, it's because the guys are gaining maturity. I really thought last game we, we played a terrific first period, you know, out chance to, uh, uh, Nashville in their barn, but you know we slowly lacked energy because we're missing so many players and you know putting a lot of uh, pressure and on some guys and, and and too much to handle and we just faded away slowly and I think tonight we didn't fade away. You know they had a pushback, but we had a pushback after that and. Uh, I think on defense, uh, you know, these guys all made a difference. Elliot made a difference, uh, plus two, and it was on the score sheet and assist on that winning on the, the on the uh, winning goal. Um, Bergdorfer uh, and, and you know Falk and new additions were terrific in closing gaps and finishing checks and Harper again, you know, uh, gets his presence to be felt in all kinds of ways and so uh, really solid team win. But you know, one big big thing is Bobby was back. It was gigantic, and you realize when you miss guys like that, you, when they're gone, you realize how much you miss them, and when they come back, uh, you see the difference between a guy that's fresh and everybody else that's tired, and, and he, had, he was flying out there, he had juice, and it's just we don't realize it. You know, when, let's see, you play every two nights, and you get back-to-backs and three and fours like we've been getting, and you're missing players, guys get worn out. So him coming in was, was huge for us tonight. Like, it made such a difference for me as a coach, uh, put him in out there and he played over 20 minutes and uh, uh, he was he was a big difference for us big difference maker for us you can push back in a third period in a tie hockey game be attributed to the energy. efforts the efforts and energy that were were made uh, in the first two we didn't have more effort than the last games we had more energy that's that's the difference we keep saying it it's it's when you're missing you know NHLers everybody else gets you know, to be worn out. And now tonight, because we were, you know, 70s or Ds didn't get worn out and with the forwards. But Bobby, I was able to play him, you know, 20 minutes. That means that somebody else doesn't have to play. You know, Stone didn't have to play 26 minutes like the other night. And, you know, he, he had no juice in the third against Nashville, and that's where you got to push. So there was no push, and, uh, and that's what it does. So every time we're going to get a player back out of our six guys that were missing or our six regulars, it's going to make a huge difference. So uh, Bobby... Uh, Bobby today and hopefully tomorrow another one and maybe on Monday another one or maybe two we'll see and uh, maybe by the end of the week we got everybody for first time in, in forever. <laughs> five minutes more in time on ice average for Bobby Ryan five minutes fewer than what we saw for Mark Stone against Nashville. Mark Stone though certainly was at his thieving best here tonight uh, he just said he had a pretty good read of the game. Yeah, for sure. I thought he, like usual, had a terrific game. But that's that's you know he had juice for the third period because of those five minutes. And and I'll be honest, it's mainly because of Bobby, Bobby being there on the right side, taking minutes that Stoner would have had to take if Bobby wasn't there. And so it's, it makes a huge difference for us.